The last time I've actually played Modern Warfare 2 was on the PS3. And like I started playing it when not that many people were on the game still. And it was like really hard to find lobbies. So let's just say my time on Modern Warfare 2 didn't really last long. I'm still hyped to finally be playing this game on controller. You guys don't understand how long it took for me to actually make my controller work with this game. It took so long, bro. Like unbelievably long. Like I wish that I actually played this game within its prime. Like I think like when like this game came out in like 2000 nine i'm not too familiar with when this game came out but like i know that i was really young when the game actually came out the first ever cod game that i got was actually cod ghost and then it went black ops one modern warfare three black ops two and then modern warfare two this was back when i was still playing on my ps3 i didn't really go in order <laughs> like i started with like the worst cod game and kind of like made my way back to like the good ones but yeah like i've been playing modern warfare two for like the past two to three days now like i finally got used to the sniping the sniping was honestly so hard when i first started out like i didn't like okay sniping on modern warfare 2 at first it felt like really weird but now i've kind of got into the hang of it peak 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 seriously i'm so used to like sniping on like cold war and like vanguard and like how smooth it is coming back to modern warfare 2 like you can just feel how jagged the game is but honestly i like this movement a lot better than like the freaking crazy 360 war zone movement that everyone's doing these days like modern warfare 2's movement is just chill there's no slide canceling bullshit like like it's nothing crazy you know there was so much to like talk about like i talked about so much within my last video and i'm trying to remember what i talked about one of the main things was okay so for those that don't know i actually work at pita pit now and the one thing that i don't really like about working at pita pit trust me pita pit is like a great place to work at but like the one thing that i have a problem with is the fact that whenever you're like making someone's pita there's always that one customer that tells you all of their toppings before you even get to open the pita and then they get mad when you ask them to repeat themselves because you don't remember what they said there was this one one customer like a few days ago that actually came in and like he told me everything he wanted and i didn't even have the pita open yet so i had to like ask him like multiple times like can you please remind me of like what you said like i don't remember and he had the audacity to actually get mad at me for like asking him to repeat himself like that makes absolutely no sense to me like it's just people like that that just make no sense like why do you get so angry at me for doing my job but like realistically when it comes down to customers like that i don't let it get to me because i know that i'm trying my best and there's nothing anyone can do to like change that like look at that we're just spawning on top of each other get absolutely shit on i can literally just stand here like <laughs> what did i just do i can literally just sit here and just spawn trap them who really called a harrier in on rust like dog seriously okay honestly i'm having more fun on this game than i've ever had on vanguard <laughs> like it's just something like about just these old cod games being so simple that just make it so much more fun with those new cod games it just feels like a job to play those games like vanguard i was basically forcing myself to play to be honest <laughs> I was, I was, I was not happy with Vanguard. What I find funny is that when it comes down to like these lobbies is that no one actually like plays the game mode how it's supposed to be played. Like no one cares.